What's up, taters? This is Tree from TreeofLogic.com. I want to talk about this story. Now, it's Monday, and about time you guys get into the news around about early in the morning or this afternoon, this story would have been scrubbed away. This happened last night, like seven, seven hours ago. So it happened late last night. Right now, I am recording this around about five o'clock in the morning. And uh, it looks like because this fits into the demon rats diversity and inclusion, they're not going to make a big deal out of it. But I thought this was pretty strange. And you'll and you'll see what I'm talking about when I get to that part of the article. But even if you don't want to listen to the article, I highly suggest you stay tuned in this video. Because when I get to this clip right here, it's going to be well worth it. This clip includes a reporter and she yells a question out to poopy pants Joe Biden and his answer to her questions is hilarious. <laughs> I promise you, you, def you definitely want to see this. And you know why I know this, this part of this video was pretty hilarious? Because CNN, CNN, MSNBC, CBS, and a lot of the other uh, mainstream media, they cut that part out. Oh, and you're going to see why they did that. But let me go ahead and get through this article real quick so that you all can, so we can get to the best part right here, okay? A car barreled into a parked SUV protecting poopy pants Joe Biden's motorcade Sunday night as the potato-in-chief was leaving his campaign headquarters in Delaware. Poopy Pants Biden was walking to the campaign office to his armored SUV when a silver sedan with Delaware plates crashed into the U.S. Secret Service vehicle that was used to close off the intersection near the headquarters for the Poopy Pants Biden's departure. The sedan, which sustained bumper damage, get ready for this one, okay? You ready? Pay attention. The sedan, which sustained bumper damage, then try to drive into a closed off intersection before the Secret Service agents swarmed the vehicle with weapons pulled and forced the driver to surrender. Hold up. You mean to tell me that the man tried to do a hit and run and the mainstream media is like throwing this story away, burying it, scrubbing it from the news headlines, basically saying, oh, it's no problem. These things happen all the time. So like the guy, and, and here they're gonna say, try to say it wasn't intentional. If it was intentional, why did he try to get away? You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if the guy had another color, this would be called white supreme pizza trying to take Joe Biden out. But I digress. Poopy Pants Biden was taken into his car where his wife, First Lady Jill Biden, was already waiting before they were quickly driven home. The 81-year-old fart machine, demon rat, and his not having any kind of taste wife who's always wearing daggone uh, tablecloths for dresses are safe. See, it did say that. See, look right here. It said all those things. I did not make that up. The Secret Service uh, said they were uh, no protective interest tied to the incident. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Sure it wasn't. Uh, which means the crash was not intentional and the driver was likely unaware of Biden's presence. First of all, even if the driver wasn't aware of Poopy Pants Biden's presence, how can you miss them big old SUVs? Unless he was drunk and or he was high as a kite. So, or he did it intentionally. My thing is, is that he tried to do a hit and run. And these people are saying, oh, it's not a problem, honey. Just these things happen. Yeah, right. I'm just saying, like, you, you guys cannot play this game with me. So look at this. How can, let's, do you see what I'm talking about? First of all, this is not a, a dark street. This is a huge SUV, and it's an SUV in front of that. And old man, not old man, old boy, because he's he looks like he's in his uh, early 30s, just try to smash through it. 
And then he didn't, you know, he tried to get away until the alphabet boys pulled their guns out on him. And then he gonna pl play the hands up, don't shoot, uh, you know, uh, type of scenario. I can't breathe. Black Lives Matter. You know, ugh. Anyway, today at approximately um, 8.09 p.m., a Secret Service vehicle securing the president's motorcade route was struck by another vehicle on Willing what's this, Wilmington, uh, Delaware. A spokesperson said um, there were no protective interests associated with the event and the president's motorcade departed without incident. The Post has reached out to the Secret Service for comment, but them old lame old no good suckers did not call back. Uh, an SUV in the, in the poopy pants Biden's motorcade was hit by a vehicle as he was leaving his campaign headquarters in Delaware. You already typed that earlier. Come on, New York Post. Secret Service agents surrounded the car with guns drawn out as Biden was ushered into his vehicle. You can hear the crash about nine seconds and we're about to see the video, right? But let me show you what the what the uh, what the didn't do. I mean, the, the driver looks like okay so this is what it looks like right so you so you see what i'm talking about i'm like yeah he he crashed into the motorcade then backed up and tried to get away and then that's when the alphabet boys came and surrounded him and pulled out the weapon and that's why the little idiot standing out like this like, i didn't do nothing i didn't do nothing i didn't do nothing what the what the, i didn't do nothing so, yeah, that's what this scene is all about. But hold on. Let me <laughs> let me play you guys this video. The video is awesome. And it's not that long. But I want you to listen to the reporter and hear what the reporter has to say. By the way, uh, spoiler alert. Those of you who support Trump, you're going to love this. Okay? So I suggest you stay tuned. All right? Here we go. Mr. President, why are you losing to Trump in the polls? Okay. Let me tell you what she said because I'm going to rewind it. She said, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Mr. President, why are you losing to Trump in the polls? And then Poopy Pants Biden, he like, well, who's that asking? You're not on the approve a question, a journalist list. I didn't get your name. Okay, here we go. Mr. President, why are you losing to Trump in the polls? Oh. <laughs> One second, listen to this clown. Losing to Trump in the polls. Oh. Yeah, right. Right, okay. Come on now. <laughs> they didn't prep Poopy Pass Biden. For this, for this type of answer. Okay, now in about two seconds, you're gonna hear the sedan crash into the motorcade. Listen up. Okay, that was it. Let me rewind it. And then you're gonna hear him back up and try to escape. So I'm saying to myself, how are you guys coming so quickly saying that this was non-intentional? Like really? So here we go. So it's gonna happen two seconds and then he's gonna hear it go crash and then you're gonna to try to hear him back up. And now they rush him into the uh, SUV. He's taking his time, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to do. And there's everybody surrounded that didn't do, I mean, uh, Tyrone's, I mean, Ray Ray's sedan. Okay, so there they go. Like, how, how could you miss this? How could you miss this big old truck? Are you serious? Y'all playing with my intelligence. And I'm very offended. Y'all know something going on. And here's the thing. If he intentionally ran into him, you guys are never going to know. Like, how could you miss this? The street is what? The street is lit up. You got all these cars, you got this big old truck, and they're like, well, he probably didn't see it. Da, da, da. Like, come on, dude. So he tried to like escape, and then that's when the alphabet boy started to surround the daggone car. You know what I'm saying? So this is what this is like. Like I said, you could not miss it. You could not miss these cars. 
So now he's sitting there talking about, I didn't do nothing with his hands up. I didn't do nothing off of four. I didn't do nothing off of four. I was going to Harvard. I got to study for my medical exam. I don't want to look at no more of this. I'm so, I'm so over this. Anyway, that's just basically it. Um, I, here's, I, I, I'm just going to end the video right here because <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys that it's amazing that they downplayed this video and auto automatically gave you guys the narrative that this wasn't intentional. These things happen. This, the guy did not know if the president was part of the motorcade. They, you know what I'm saying? They're just basically just you sweeping it away, push partially it away, and not even waiting until the investigation has been concluded. Because it's still being investigated, but we may never know the conclusion. This guy could have intentionally rammed into the motorcade hoping that he hit Biden or just ran into the motorcade just because. We don't know if he's high. We don't know if he's drunk. We don't know if he's delusional. We don't know anything because they're not going to tell us. But I want to know what you think. Share me with share with me your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to give me a like. And if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later taters.